Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. We're doing Sky Factory. And so, where did we leave off? Well, we left off, and we were trying to get the... Oh no. The quartz. Oh my god. C-O-A-R. My goodness. I'm being dumb. We were trying to get the quartz sapling. Um... So we needed nether quartz, we needed two nether rack, we've got that. So we've got these two, we've got the nether quartz. Now we need the magma slime. So how do we make this? Well, we need two slime balls. Um, they appear to have to be orange slime balls. So how do we get an orange slime ball? Okay, well we get it from a magma slime tree. How the fuck do we get a magma slime tree? Oh no, how do we get, how do we get that? Okay, so what we can do is, is we can go to the crushing tub. We're gonna have to make a lot of netherrack, but yes, there we go. So we can get blaze powder by crushing the netherrack. And so, yeah, we're gonna have to get a lot more netherrack if we are going to want to do this. I'm still not, I'm standing by what I said earlier. I am not going to make a row of netherrack because I haven't seen that it's super helpful. I've only really seen that it kind of, it has a few uses, but that's really it. It's just kind of like a niche thing right now. If it, if I realize that it starts to become very handy and very useful, I will definitely start to actually use it more but for right now all of the sap like all of the trees that I think are generally useless I will not like work with just because there's no need okay guys so we got enough bl uh, blaze powder we need to find out how to make sulfur so we can grind red nether brick, but we don't have any. Or we could do a rock crusher and we get granite and a few other stuff. All right, well, we have to get the rock crusher because we don't, we don't have, um, not bedrock. What in the fuck? No. Okay, guys, so I figured out how to get sulfur. We need a grindstone, which means we need uh, uh, cobblestone. That's what it's called. I went retarded for a hot minute. But we're going to need six, yeah, six um, stone, which we do not have near enough. We wouldn't by chance have any cobblestone in our chest, would we? That'd be a no. Oh, we do have some resin, though. That's nice. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to have to get six stones. So we'll see you when that's done. Okay, so we got six stone. Uh, we do need a chisel. So how do we make a basic chisel? Oh, it's just an iron ingot and sand. Or a stick. Not, why did I say sand? Oh, no. Okay, so we got the chisel. Um, which was not very hard. And then we need this. We got the stone. All right. All right, all right, all right. Uh, okay, so let's open up our chisel. Let's put the stone in here. Let's just make normal chiseled stone. Uh, okay, and so we need... Ah, shit. We need a grind, grindstone. So we need a, so do it like this. There we go. Wait, what? Hold up. Why didn't it work? Does it have to be a certain type of? Oh, there we go. We just didn't have the right type. Oh, well, that was dumb. Oh, well. So let's go ahead and put this over here, along with a lot of our other tools. It did have an example of a horse going around. 
like, going around, which makes me think that I may need a lead. So, let's look at the... Let's look at sul Sulfur. L. F. Thank you. Uh, so we see here... Yeah, you see this horse? I think we need a lead, and then we need to attach a horse onto this in order for this to work. We're gonna need a lead regardless. So let's go lead. Okay, so we need string and a slime ball. We need four string and one slime ball. Where's my bow? We got one we got one ball. Now where's my where's my where is it? There we go. We got one bow. And now we do hubble hubble and give me my lead. Oh yeah. We can put we can put the string back. We don't need a string anymore. If I can find where the string goes, oh my goodness. Alright, so we've got a few problems with this pasteurized area. If you look by the the color of these um grass textures, that's a spruce biome. This is a swamp. Horses spawn a neither. We have a lot of fucking chickens. Oh my god. Might start killing them soon if they keep it up. Anyway, what I have found out is this. If we go into F3, you can see it right here. There, you can see it right here. This is the plains biome. Horses do spawn in the plains biome. And so, if we... How far does this plains biome go? Okay, this is Swampland, so here... So we have about... Diagonal, we have about this bunch. Uh, which will be a very low spawn rate, but we can try. I need more dirt. Alright, so... We have a shit ton of dirt resin. So we can go ahead and put all of this, because this used to be our food supply. So we have, yeah, we have a bunch of fucking resin. We still have a few more stacks. It's kind of ridiculous. But we have dirt. Um, yeah, we're going to have to... Question, is over here still a plains? Yes. So what I may actually do is separate, instead of putting a platform there, I actually may build another, um, uh, d -d 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 another, like, grass platform. I won't decorate this one, because I only need it for so long, but I may actually make this one, um, I'll need a lot more dirt. I'm sorry, I keep getting sidetracked. Um, this one's just for function, it's not for beauty. So in order for a horse to spawn, it needs a two by two of free available space, I believe. Um, and so, yeah. Spawning is not gonna be very fun. But we're gonna have to do it anyway. So, just so you all know, and you all are caught up with me, um, for any of you who, d you know, don't play a lot of technical Minecraft, or don't watch people who play a lot of technical Minecraft, um, spawning depends on two things. Biome and available space. And if it's a hostile mob, it requires a certain light level. So, certain mobs can s only spawn on certain blocks. Um, but that's more of hostile mobs, so you don't need to worry about that. But, like, a horse cannot spawn in the swamplands. That is strictly left to cows, chickens, sheep, and pigs. Um, horses can spawn in, I believe, only grasslands. I think. I'm kind of pulling this out of my ass. So, I may be wrong, but I believe horses only spawn in grasslands. So, that's why this whole thing, it doesn't work. 
with horses because horses don't physically spawn there, so it doesn't matter. But for something, because all we need is one horse. This is for food or for milk. The other one is just for a horse. Once I get a horse, I'll probably just tear it down. Just because I, I don't need any any of the other mods. Okay, I just wanted to show this because I feel like a lot of you sometimes forget how long some of this stuff takes me to do and learn. This is all me learning about how to use the grindstone because I was stuck on this wall where I had to use it, uh, but I didn't know how. So there's two grindstones. There, one is used by the player and the other one is used by a horse and that's to automate the system. And so, you know, this, it, it's small stuff like this where, you know, me trying to learn, you know, what to do, what not to do, you know, this stuff takes a lot of time. And so, you see me building one large platform. Uh, the platform out in the distance is actually going to be where I'm going to start constructing my house. I want to make a full, like, biome, I want to have a full platform, I want to, you know, have my house on something. I don't want it to look like it's floating. And so that requires me to actually make a landscape, so that's why I'm building this out. It's also, I was trying to spawn horses because I thought I needed it, but I don't, but yeah, I just wanted to show this because, you know, this stuff takes a while to learn how to use. Alright guys, so I was a little bit of a dummy dumb. Uh, I do not need a horse. Yeah, um, I, I, I don't need a horse. You see, how many... You see, I can just... Shwink! 16, now it's 33, now it's 50. Um, yeah, I don't need a horse. At least not for the grindstone. So, yeah, that, that's, that's rough. Alright, guys. So, Blazing... Uh, or not Blazing... Pytherium Dust. So, we've got everything we need. We've got the Sulfur. Uh, so now we need the Redstone. We need one piece of Redstone. We put it all together. What do you get? Boom! All right, so we got that. Who? that was not fun to craft. All right, so we need... So do we put this... Do we have to do this again? We might have to do this. We might need to make another one. Okay, so I had to look this one up because, honestly, I was, I was dumbstruck. I had no idea how to do this. So, what I have to do is, in order to get liquid out of the smeltery that normally can't come out, is I have to, um, I basically have to make a tank, a special tank for it. Alright guys, so, yeah, one of the ways that we actually get things out of the tank is we, <gasps> we have a horsey... Oh well, we don't need it. <laughs> we don't need it. We definitely don't need it. So we need one obsidian block, four iron, very expensive, and four glass. But we can go ahead and make this, and then it said put it next to any drain filter, and it should drain. So does it mean next to as in like this? Yes! There we go. So now we can empty the tank whenever we want. Yeah, we can't pick it up because it's not enough. I don't really care about water, though. Oh, for a second I heard that glass and I thought it was gonna... Huh. Well, I'll be... See, this is the one thing that I do love about, um like, about the smeltery is, is you can make mistakes. I can cannibalize a piece of this furnace wall, and it... Sorry, I got confused. That's it smelting. Um, 
da, 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 da. Oh yeah, I can make mistakes with materials and melt them down and I don't lose anything, which is super, super nice that I don't just lose stuff. Because it, it lets me experiment without having to, you know, waste resources. Yeah, see, I put one block in, I get one block out. There we go. So let's try the liquid faucets. Here, let's try this to empty out. All right, guys, so I'm back. Um, and we actually didn't have it correct. So what we had to do. Ah, piss, really? All right. So what we have to do, we did waste some seared brick. Um, those, we don't need those because we're not running two smelteries. So we just wasted some seared brick. Not a big deal. Um, so while we empty this out, the one thing that we need is liquid cables. Uh, we need liquid extraction cable. So we need gold nugget golden nuggies, a dropper, um, and a weighted pressure plate. Ooh. So we can go ahead and make the weighted pressure plate uh, right there. Then we can go and we can get the redstone. We can we do not have any stone. That's a damn shame. So we're going to have to get a bunch of stone. And we are going to have... I believe we have at least one gold ingot. Yes, we do have one gold ingot. Whoops. God damn it. Stop it. I'm being dumb. So we need four gold ingots. We can put the rest back. And then we will need some... Uh... uh Cobblestone, that's what it's called. We're gonna need some cobblestone. Alright, guys, so we've got seven cobblestone, so we can go ahead and make the dropper. And then we can go ahead and make the liquid extraction cable. And so what we can do with this is we can actually take the liquid out of the tank, and we can put it into our cobblestone. Yeah, put this down here. Let's set this aside. Let's put the extraction cable. Damn. All right. And then we're going to need... Yep. Yeah. So, unfortunately, we don't need water because we have an unlimited supply. So we're going to go ahead and put that there. But we can use this on the blazing... Oh, shit. Oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Wait, did that use... Oh no! <laughs> that hurt a lot more. I sorry, I was being stupid. All right, uh, we're gonna need some more. So I'll get back to you guys once I have two more. All right, guys. So we are actually smelting um, some of the uh, pyrethium dust. So we got all of that. We do need. We actually need more netherrack. Because we ran out. And that's no fun. It's never fun when you run out. Alright, so we've got our two... Well, soon to be two uh, nether rack. Because we can put the redstone amber in there. We can turn on the lava, which will make it. We need to put our leaves away. The reason I'm collecting the leaves is the same reason that over there exists. And it's so that we can eventually build that platform out because I'm going to need a lot of grass blocks which means I'm going to need a lot of leaves. Let's go ahead collect our seared brick. Put it back. Collect our castings. The flint and steel is not a casting sadly. That's still smelting. Wow blaze. The fucking pyrethium takes forever. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I, I don't know what that was... All right, whoops, I'll just keep it there. Yeah, I just kind of jumped off. Um, so we've got our blazing pyrethium. 
So we need we now need a second Oh no, we need a second um slime tree, that's what it's called. So I'll get back to you guys whenever I actually fucking get a slime sapling because these things are annoying. There we go. Let's go ahead and move this back. And then bup da bup da bup 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 ba Boom! Magma slime sapling. So this was a very big pain in the ass. But it's done. And that's all that matters. And I would put it in the victory chest. Or the chest of achievements, whatever the fuck you want to call it. But like, I, I, I don't have that time. <laughs> I don't got time to grind another one, buddy. There we go. So we put all of our stuff away. And now what we need to do is we need to grind the magma sapling out a little bit. Because in order to get the COU, A, my god, I cannot spell or speak or splissen. So, oh, we need more blaze powder. Boopy. Actually, this isn't that tall of an order. Um, we do have the... I believe we actually had quite a few netherrack. Might have put that away. Nope, we still got two. So we can go ahead and crush these. And now we have two blaze powder. Uh, and... Wait, did it create one or two? Because I might need... Created one. Oh, but I only needed one. So two slime balls, and then I can get the magma. The magma magma cream. My goodness, I cannot speak. So in order to get this, we have we need to grind for those. We have the magma cream. We've got the nether rack. We need soul sand. How do we make soul sand? Very challenging. So we actually need hostile mobs to start spawning. Um. Ooh, yeah. So I think it's finally time that we create a mob farm. I think I think it is finally time that we actually create our first mob farm. Um. The only problem is I don't really want to create one this episode because I do kind of want to... Creating it will take a long-ass time. And I really want to get this video out. I want to get quartz. So I'm not going to create it today, but we definitely need one. So I will create it later. What I'm going to do for right now is I'm actually just going to let natural... I'm just going to let the mobs spawn natural, and I'll just destroy them with my awesomeness. Okay, so there actually was a few problems that came with this area that I tried to make the mob farm. Uh, one was that the light level was glitched, and what that means is, is even though there was absolutely no light anywhere, it still had a light value of 24. Which means no hostile mobs can spawn. That's max light level. And so, basically what that meant was, is for some reason, that area was just permanently illuminated, even though visually it had no light. And so, that ended up causing a problem, because obviously mobs don't spawn, you know, when there's light near. So, I actually had to move it to my... Uh, tree farm, which, as you will see, is was a dangerous endeavor, but it was the only place that wasn't glitched, so. Hold up. Whoa, hold up. Did you see how many creepers there was? Why are they all jumping? What in the hell? Okay, let's lead one out. Not in our forest. I cannot risk him exploding. Wow. 
come on. I, I, I don't know why they're jumping. Do we get any spider eyes? Are you fucking kidding me? All of that work and not a single spider eye? Alrighties, guys. Well, I am going to call it here for today. And the big reason is because we are kind of at a point where I I have to do something really big. Um, but I simply don't have the time in this video to actually get that done. And that's creating a mob farm. I don't have the time to create one because they generally take a while to make. Um just because they're they're massive structures and so i'm going to call it here for today uh just because i i don't really have the time for anything else but next episode i promise we will be getting the uh the quartz sapling and we also will be making the mob farm. So today, uh, tomorrow is definitely going to be a interesting episode. Because we are going to have to... We're going to have to make a lot of progress. But I believe that we can easily do it. So anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Um, and yeah, I'll see all you dudes in the next video. Bye-bye!